<laughs> this dude got the energy, bro. Like, he just all over the place. And it, it, it was like he was jumping around, but he still was... It wasn't just like him acting crazy. It was him acting crazy and killing it at the same no, time. It, it's undeniable. All right. What's up, baby? Shit, what's up? How you doing? Are we... Yeah. Are we are we, are we are we are we in there? Yeah, the sound was clipping for a second. Yeah, I know because it was it was it was the the connection right here. Yeah. All right. Cool. So what's up, hot pants? How you doing? What's up? All yeah, right. Yeah, All right, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, Welcome yeah. back to the On Cloud Nine podcast, where I sit down every single week with Mary Jane and a guest. Yes. And we took one up and talk about some shit. Yeah, he, he's more of like my guest today because he's at my studio. So uh, that is we're very both, true. We're both guests. Well, it's a traveling podcast, so we're both every, guests. Every, every place I go, there was one time. Place. There was one time I had I was at a hotel, and I was a guest at the hotel, right? True thanks, story. For, thanks for having me, though. Of course. Yeah. Um, I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Okay. Um, for all our viewers out here, so um, they know who you are, because I'm sure you'll do a better job than I do. I am. <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm not from this earth. I'm from a place called the Times, and it's way somewhere over there. My name is Richie. You can call me How You Doing. You can call and me how Jones. How you doing? Yeah, there it is. And, uh... Yeah, they, they, I have a bunch of names, you know, and, and, and the funny thing is, it's like, I got these names because I started calling people just random shit All right, high school, right? <laughs> if I didn't know somebody's name, i just call them Jones, right? Like, I know their face, but I'll be like, nah, nah, that's Jones over there. How you doing, Jones? It's like Everybody. the opposite of just saying, hey, what's up, man? So, yeah, so then, like, since I started calling everybody Jones... Then people just started calling me Jones. Hey Jones, <laughs> and that—that's not my name at all. So yeah, that's one of them. Then I have Scrooty is another one, and yeah, then I've heard that. yeah, and then I have my real name is Brian, and then Richie Black Bear gave me that name, Little Richie, right. and then How You Doing, My Son, yeah, was the was the inspiration for that one. How you doing? How you doing? How are you it, doing? It, it's, 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 <laughs> you you got it. You got you to hit it with the, how you doing? You know? How you doing? No, 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 come on. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? There we go. So you're getting there. All right. Practice makes there. perfect. Yeah, that's right. All right, so what are you all about, man? I mean, we're in a music studio, so uh, I would assume people are yeah. guessing you're making music here. I I, I try, you know? Um, um, I, uh, yeah, I make music. Uh I got started making music probably fucking when I was like 15, bro. I was like the only white dude in the stu in the studio. Like, it wasn't a studio. It was like a fucking uh, closet, <laughs> like with, with with a whole bunch of Haitians and Jamaicans and Puerto Rican dudes. I swear to God, my boy sleep and fucking pee. Where was, was like, this? This is in in Florida. All right, so you're from Florida. Oh no, my son's calling. Let's see what he says. Oh shit. What's up, baby? Hey, baby. Hey, Hey, dumb. Yeah, what's up, uh, man? Well, uh, me, Hunter, and Austin at the studio doing a podcast. Oh, that's fire, bro. What are you doing? You want to come? <laughs> well, hey, I I talked to um, what's it called? My cousin, and we're gonna make it happen by the end of the week. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I just knew you, you know. Sorry that he was being. Sorry, bro. I'm just like I'm just being real. Yeah, I know. Okay, if you want to come, you're welcome. We're just going to do this podcast and be back. All right, we're done. We'll see you later. All right, buddy. So, yeah, that was... I didn't even know he was going to call. Sorry for interrupting. But all no, good, all good. You my, might have missed that, but yeah, come on. Yeah, he's, he, he's a huge inspiration for me. Good friend. Um, And he kind of was just like, you need to just change your name to Haidon. And so then I went on Instagram and I checked... 
I was gonna say because before I it when I first Richard. met you, it no, was Lil Richard. No, it yeah. was how you doing? Oh yeah, oh, I, I so. always was. When I met you, it was always how you doing? Yeah, because I met you at Mod, so you had already gotten that handle. I don't know. I think I might have been Lil Richard at that point. I'm not sure because this this is like recently. This just changed. All right. So I don't know. No, no, I don't know. I I I always say hi though. You know. I always do that. I've had that that shit going along for for a long time. I mean, obviously, I didn't make up the words "how you doing," but like, it, it's just something that you used know. it as your own inspiration. Yeah, that's right. You know, you know, yeah, yeah. But no, he was like, "You should just change your name to How You Don't." I was like, "That's a pretty fucking genius idea." No, so it's, then I it's checked, good. and then you know, and then I checked it, and it, and it, it was available. So I took that shit. Smacked, nice. Yeah, that's right. You know, hell yeah. So what kind of music do you make? How'd you get into music? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I used to... My homie's back in Florida. Right. I'm you're, from you're Florida. You're in a little closet yeah, with some I'm Haitians from Florida. Yeah, Jamaicans yeah, like packed. Music. But, bro, one like white kid. Packed fucking full. <laughs> I might have been like one of the only two white dudes there. Maybe three. We had a dude named Brian Dickey that always came through. And there was a dude named Zach that came through. There was a white dude. And then um, Dickey's little brother, rest in peace, he was there too as well. But other than that, yeah, pretty much um, it wasn't, it was it, it was all like, it was the hood hood. But they were always like, I remember the first beat I ever did was Holla At Me Baby by DJ Khaled. Holla At Me Baby. <laughs> Holla At Me Baby. And I remember the instrumental and then like everybody was just ripping the freestyle. Everybody's going and having their cypher and shit. And then I got in there and it was horrible. It was so bad. I don't even remember. I, I, I think they have it somewhere, but it was so bad. <laughs> And they were like, no, but the but the white boy got energy though. The white boy got energy. So um, everybody was like, and then and then some people were like, nah, don't ever let the white boy go back into the booth. And then I had these two friends. Well, one of them was J Man, rest in peace. He he, he passed away a couple of years ago. And um, my boy P and then Sleep. Uh, it was at P and Sleep's house, and there, there's these Haitian dudes, and I used to stay there all the time. And um, they were like, everybody was like, don't let the white boy get in. They're like, no. Nah. That's my dog. And then and then I, I I came out to LA and then fucking met Black Bear and then I started living with How'd him. How that happen? That happened. It was crazy. I, I you know drama, Young and Reckless. Yeah. Well, I used to pack boxes for drama, at Young and Reckless. I was like an intern. I was working for free. And that's how I met Travi too as well, actually. Oh shit. I was I was there I was there packing boxes and Travi was it was Travi's first day and 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 Travi came in and he was like he was upstairs and I was downstairs in the warehouse, you know? And I used to just take fucking, uh, like, Young and Reckless stickers and I just put them on there and I put Jimmy Houston. And, like, <laughs> don't ask me where I got that, I don't know, you know? And um, then Drama came down one day and he's like, hey, who's putting all these Young and Reckless stickers all over the place and, and writing Jimmy Houston on them? And I was like, fuck. I was like, me? He's like, yo. I heard you're fucking hilarious. And I was like, I don't know about that. He's like, come on, why don't you do this Reckless Wednesday shit with me? So then it, it turned in, so I was packing boxes and then turned into where I was um, working at the Fantasy Factory, you know? Like, it, it, and it was like a, a dream come true because like I, I love that kind of shit. I used to be a right. wakeboarder, you know? I used, to, I used to be a wakeboarder, I love extreme sports. So it was like kind of like a dream come true. And then uh, What'd I was- what they have you doing? Just bitch work, honestly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they. If if I needed help, if they needed help like uh, setting like up whatever they were doing to film or whatever, I was just there to help them. Like, so you were like you know. practically just a PA. Yeah, another intern. Yeah, pretty much. Been um, there, bro. Been there. Yeah, Fuck. yeah. <laughs> and then and then I remember the very first day I got there. The first thing I did was I just got in, onto a bike and I just jumped into the foam pit. Right, I tried to do a backflip and it was really sketchy. I've never jumped off a ramp and tried to go into a foam pit before. But I was like, I'm definitely doing it. And Rob came running out. And he's like, What the fuck? Because I guess you had to sign a a, 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 a waiver, waiver. Yeah. <laughs> a release one, yeah, and, and and he wasn't too happy about that. But um, I signed it, and then we we became tight. Yeah, like it wasn't I wasn't like real tight with them, but like yeah. they definitely know who the fuck I am. Dope. So you met Black Bear through that? Well, no. Started... Well, that's funny. That's yeah, yeah. Okay, so I also I'm from Florida, so I used to go or well, pretend like I went to fucking FSU, Florida right. State. Like I told my parents I was gonna go to college or whatever, and and I lived there for a good like seven months, but never went to school once. Not one time. I'll just be like, yeah, yeah, I got class today, 
It never fucking went. So How'd my f- you pull that shit off for six months? Just because I'm... No. Just a boss? No. <laughs> they, it, it's just a bad manipulative game, you know? Like, I fucked with their heads. That's what it was. I feel bad. Sorry, Mom. But, um... No, like, my friend David Faris was one of my best friends of all time. And he was shooting a music video. He had a band called The Digitals. And he said, yo, I have a friend named Matt Musto who's going to come by. And, uh... Like I said, I was w- working with Younger Reckless at the time, Fantasy Factory. So then he comes through and he's wearing all decked out in Younger Reckless. I'm like, dude, this dude really spent all his parents' money and bought all this Younger Reckless shit. Because I was like, I would know right. if, 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 if you were sponsored by them because I'm the one that ships the fucking boxes out. <laughs> and then it, it, it came down to where he really was sponsored by them. I started breaking his balls. And then um, he was working with Compounded, with Neo in, in Atlanta. Right, and then uh, uh, he he said we 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 started chopping it up or whatever. We did a little music video is together. Okay, we did it. We did like a little music video together. Me, him, and Dave Free. Shout out to Dave Free. So love that kid. And um, he said, "Oh, you live in L.A.?" Because I was going back to L.A. And I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Dude, you know, I would I I have a hotel room. I'm gonna go meet up with Mike Posner. This and this and that." I was like, "Yeah, whatever. Just call me." He doesn't even hit me up and let me know that he's on his way into L.A. He just hits me when he... Like, yeah, a lot of people... You know, a lot of people are like, yo, I'm going to come see you, bro. Right. And they never pulled through. This guy didn't tell me he's coming. He just pulled up. And I was like, damn. So then... Anyway, he was at the hotel. I remember the very first thing he did at the hotel, he just, with all of his fucking clothes on, just jumped into the pool. Shoes and everything. He's like... He was just so happy. And um, <laughs> he ended up... Uh, uh, sleeping on my actually my floor on a on a, on a blow up mattress for a couple months, and then he 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 wrote the song for Justin Bieber boyfriend. Okay, and I'm um, sure you guys have probably heard that. Yeah, yeah, and and <laughs> and he and he wrote that record, and everything changed, and he was like, "Now you're gonna come live with me, bro." It was tight. Yeah, it's he, the full, he was like full he, 180. He's like, like my little big bro. Yeah, he's like little bro but big bro. You know, it's, okay. it's, 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 I love to hear stories like that though. Yeah, and um, yeah, and 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 look, at, he just became an amazing artist. I mean, he always was an amazing artist, but he's probably one of my favorite artists still to this day. You know, right? For, for real, like not only because I know him, but his his music is undeniably great, for sure. And um, then that's how I met my son. Because we, they were on tour in uh, Orlando and Tampa, and I remember. What year was this? Do you know what geez, tour it was? Yeah, this was like 2000. Bear was opening up for Mod, and I don't, I don't remember what year it was. I mean, 13, 14, 2013, 2014, maybe. Fuck. Something times, like that. Times yeah, change. yeah, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, because I've had a lot of fog in my in my memory, but. <laughs> it might just be me blowing smoke in your face. No, nah, no, nah, it has nothing to do with <laughs> the, the the smoke you're blowing. It's all the smoke that I've been blowing. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, then I met Mod, and I remember, like, it was fucking crazy. I remember watching Mod's show the very first time I watched this motherfucker show. I was like, <coughs> this dude got the energy, bro. Like, he just all over the place. And it, it, it was like he was jumping around, but he still was... It wasn't just like him acting crazy. It was him acting crazy and killing it at the same no, time. It, it's undeniable. It's going crazy, to, yeah. Going to a Mod Sun show is like fucking going to a whole fucking... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a show. It's of, a show. It, it's more than just a concert. It's fucking amazing, yeah. Um, it goes and, fucking hard. Yeah. Austin, is that thing still going? Okay. Is it still going, bro? Catch it. Catch this. Oh! Missed. Cause it's gonna it's gonna cut off any second. Okay, well listen, some listen. You, hey Austin, I'm at the Puerto Rican pancake party parade in Panama City, baby, <laughs> baby, baby. Yeah, look out for that song. It's Make coming it, out. It's on the podcast. That's right. <laughs> it's coming out soon. Bomb. The Puerto Rican pancake party parade in Panama City, baby. Is that the name? No, it's, I, I think we're just gonna call it the pancake party. But I don't know. Pancake party, pancake party. Pancake party, pancake party, pancake party, pancake party, pancake party, pancake party. Pancake party, pancake party, pancake party. And actually, guys, there's nobody behind the camera. I'm just pretending like I'm talking to somebody. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna 
There's nobody really even in there. It's just it's if just... we turn the camera around, you just see a wall and an empty couch. Yeah. Oh wait a minute! <laughs> it looks like a guy's over there lost in Vegas. Oh, this kid just lost in Vegas. Eclipsed. Oh shit! I think it was I think it was me. Hold on, I think it was, there it is. I found it. Ooh 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 ooh. ooh, ooh. ooh. Sorry for this technical difficulty. All right, so Hunter, I got a question back. for you. Oh shit! You got a question for me. I got a couple of them actually. You're the first you see, person to ask me. A you question see, you on see this how thing. this just turned real quick. I I. So. Everybody knows you look like Carrot Top Junior. Where are you from? That's a loaded question. You, it's just, it's a personal. No, it, it's really not. Um, you, he's from Antarctica. No, he's, was, he's the only I, the only person ever that that's born in Antarctica. <laughs> Definitely not true, but technically, <laughs> okay, we gotta fact check that actually. Okay, all right. So you you don't know? No, technically I'm from New Mexico. You were raised by baby penguins. But when I was like one and a half, I moved to Northern California. Okay. So I consider myself Northern California. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. That's yeah yeah yeah. Well, um, have you be- ever been up there? To Antarctica? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah. I, I take, take my ho- me with you. Next I take time. my hot air balloon over there all the time. Oh shit! Yeah, bro. You didn't tell me about this. I take a hot air balloon from fucking here to there. You know? Let's do it, bro. You don't want to get it. Like, what if I had a hot air balloon and like? It, I would, f- dude. That's like around the world. You, in bro, there's days, no way bro. you could take a hot air balloon to fucking Antarctica, bro. You'd be freezing your tits. No, you'd be done, bro. You literally would be fucking done. You'd be flying over there and be like, nah, baby, I'm jumping. You, you, you wouldn't even make it. You'd freeze to death. You'd just have to jump because you'd be like, yo, the death is going to be way better if I just fucking jump and just hit the ground other than Dude, you freezing just... your tits off. Think about freezing to death in a hot air balloon. Yo, just give me like 20 to 50 pounds of weed. Bro, that's a lot, bro. Like, so... that's, that's, that's... <laughs> what did... You... We have, we 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 have um, a janitor back here. Um, and he, and he what, what, what would you say? He said his penis. All right. I think he has to take a piss. He, yeah, I think he said he's gonna come clean this trash up. I don't know what he's saying. I hope he cleans the trash. But up. yeah, so you're from New Mexico. Well, born in New Mexico. All right. I got another question for you. How did you start doing podcasts, my friend? Ooh, that, that's a and good And why the hell did you want to have me on? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, motherfucker. <laughs> no, um, the podcast idea, that's a fucking good question. Yeah. Um, I went to a blues festival Okay. called Signifying Blues that, okay. my, that my friend's brother was putting Who's on. Who's your favorite blues artist? Ooh, that's tough. Off the top of my head. You know who my favorite blues artist is? Who? Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Let, let, let me finish the story, though. So, at a, at a blues festival, we were right. filming. Right. But unfortunately for us, kind of, we were getting entirely drunk and high the entire day. That's what you got to do. Um, our main videographer passed out on the couch. Okay. Uh, my other friend was trying to dance. Oh, and you had to take it over. It. No, not even. You had to pick the camera up and you're like, it's my turn to shine, baby. I was documenting the entire night. Yeah. Now, let's let's put this very clear. I have never vlogged. Right. That's, that's not a thing I do. But yeah. that night I was filming everything on my phone. So you were vlogging. You didn't realize it. I didn't post it, though. Well, you still were vlogging. I was just documenting my night. It's not... I'm not putting it out there for anybody. Right. Definitely not. Right, right.